For many asylum seekers, this is the first time celebrating Thanksgiving in New York City. The city is serving up tens of thousands of meals for them throughout the city, including a hotel in Midtown. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis. Most of the meals were taken to go, but for asylum seekers in the Watson Hotel, there was an understanding that today is different, a different menu to mark an unfamiliar holiday. Though Carlos Cuitrado says he's given thanks for the last seven months. It's been a great blessing for me and my kids to be here in the United States, in Manhattan. Over 140,000 asylum seekers have arrived in New York since the migrant crisis began. The city's Health and Hospitals Corporation is operating 16 HERCs, or humanitarian centers, where 22,000 Thanksgiving meals are being served up today. We're really excited, excited to be able to provide a quality of care to our guests coming into our system um, and with food as a way to communicate and provide that comfort. There is bird being served, but a slight adjustment to the holiday menu. It's chicken. We all know deep inside, you know, turkey is not necessarily our number one choice of poultry. Um, and so we wanted to um, introduce Thanksgiving holiday to, to a group of people that might not be used to celebrating Thanksgiving with a, a protein or poultry that they, they love. Commissary is the company providing the food, complete with stuffing and traditional sides. HHC has served up over 12 million meals in its centers over the last several months as asylum seekers work towards a brighter tomorrow. Pero bueno, a Dios que todo se arregle. I'm praying to God that everything works out for us and for everyone else, says Joel Fernandez, a message of hope while expressing gratitude for the present.